Well, yesterday was quite a day. I really lost sleep last night after watching over and over again the testimony of the Attorney General of the United States. How sad it is. How sad it is for us to see the top law enforcement officer in our country misrepresenting, withholding the truth from the Congress of the United States. I think it's really time that as I watched him and kept saying, what could possibly be motivating the Attorney General of the United States to disrespect the Constitution of the United States, the separation of power, the right of Congress to know? What possible motivation could the Attorney General of the United States have uh, to dishonor the office that he holds by writing there for the whole world to see, to misrepresent the facts to the Congress of the United States? And then it just, I began to connect the dots. We have Mitch McConnell, who in his fundraising pitches has described himself as the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper for any legislation that comes over from the House uh, that will go to a Senate graveyard. He calls himself the Grim Reaper. Mitch McConnell, Donald Trump, Attorney General Barr, there's a connection. There isn't, there is an ideological anti-governance, anti-science, anti-meeting the needs of the American people. So when he was testifying and being so cavalier about uh, Special Counsel Mueller, and, uh, 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 the Mueller report, and so disrespectful of Congress, I thought this isn't about President Trump only. It's about a right-wing ideological handmaiden, they're handmaidens to the special interest in our country. So the, the connecting of the dots between Mitch McConnell, the Republican agenda in Congress, such as it is, the special interest agenda fueled by dark special interest money, that's what that hearing was about. It wasn't about technicalities. It wasn't about who wrote the letter and how he, mis how he characterized the letter. That's interesting. But what is deadly serious about it is the Attorney General of the United States of America was not telling the truth to the Congress of the United States. That's a crime.